Councilman Brown. Thank you. Um, approval is requested for the following finance actions. The payment of bills totaling $1,623,096.02. The bills have been signed by the Mayor, Council President, and Finance Chairman, and a detailed check register and vouchers are on file in the clerk's office. Item number two, we are in the receipts of investments made by the city treasurer for the month of September at a rate of 2.75%. Um, item number three, in order to be in compliance with the City of Linden's best practices, the Budget Review and Finance Committee met and discussed question 33 of the best practices related to the Linden Housing Authority. The consequences of the committee, or the consensus of the committee uh, was unanimous that the authority serves the public's best interest through, um, after a thorough review of the records and audits. Item number four, the Department of Finance, um, in the Department of Finance, approval is granted for the CFO to submit the best practice worksheet to the Division of Local Government Services by the October 30th deadline. I move for approval and ask for a second. 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 Mrs. Orman? Yes. Javik? Yes. Brown? Yes. Mohammed? Yes. Cosby? Yes. Roman? I'm staying on one. Yes to the rest. Yes, Bills. Strano? Yes. Coates? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mrs. Yamakaitis? Abstain on one. Yes on the rest. Okay. Uh, and just um, quickly, in regards to the Polish event, we, we've talked about it um, briefly, but I want to say thank you to everyone who was involved. Um, I don't know if it was a month or a month and a half. I know sometimes we do these events um, last minute, but it goes to show that when you have a group of people who are committed to seeing Linden succeed, um, positive people working together, um, you see what the turnout is. And so I just want to thank everyone who was involved because there was a lot of different moving parts. Um, we had a couple of different meetings, um, and I think that's what it's about. People got in a room, we brainstormed. Um, we figured out what worked in the past, what didn't work in the past, so that next year we can build upon it. And if Linden continues this trend of doing one event and another event, and you have these annual events, you'll start to see a, more of a flow in your downtown area of um, people who are coming outside of Linden to Linden uh, to celebrate with us on various events. Um, and the reason why I mention that is because from the very beginning, I've been saying it's not the bars and restaurants that's going to bring up Wood Avenue. It's community-centered, family-oriented programs that people want to get together and commingle and talk and have a good time. So I'm hoping that that trend continues uh, in our downtown area and we see more uh, events um, where people can come and enjoy one, each other's company. Kind of report. Thank you, Councilman.